Yeah. I, I'm Linda Eder, a member of Blackfish. Uh, this, is, uh, this show is called Push Pull 2, and it is a continuation of my exploration of color. Um, Hans Hoffmann was a um, German-American uh, painter and educator uh, who lived in the United States from the 30s until his death in 68. And he um, came up with the term push-pull as a, uh, describing the way colored forms uh, move backward uh, and forward and across space depending on the, um, what colors they're next to, depending on the colors uh, hue, value, and intensity. I started this uh, body of work by making these uh, very small collages here using paint samples uh, from a paint store. Um, that helped secure the composition and the color choices. And uh, after doing, oh, maybe about 30 of those, I selected the ones that I thought uh, might work uh, well in a larger format and use those as the starting point for um, this uh, group of paintings. This painting is called Crescendo. Um, I've titled the paintings uh, using classical music terms or uh, uh, lively classical music terms and uh, lively folk dancing uh, or titles. Um, I listen to classical music when I paint and I've also done a lot of uh, international folk dancing, so that seemed like appropriate titles for what I think are pretty lively uh, paintings. Crescendo has a, um, uh, a pinkish background, and um, as colors were layered on top of this, they either um, pushed forward or backward, this way or that way, depending on what color they were next to. Um, these two colors, for example, this is pink and this is a green, and for, they're complementary colors for one thing, and so they'll tend to push apart. Um, this one is a little more saturated than this one, so it tends to come forward. This one is, is called passacaglia, and that is a um, musical classical music term suggesting variations on a theme. Um, this piece has, uh, as you can see, a, a, a blue-green blue background. Um, here's the orange. Uh, these two are complementary colors, so the orange tends to come forward. The blue tends to recede in this uh, painting. Um, you'll find uh, these two are complementary colors uh, of a sort, and they also tend to kind of push apart one coming forward and one kind of receding. Hans Hoffman thought that this particular observation or uh, property of the colors um, really uh, made for a um, very lively painting, and I agree. This painting is uh, called Tarantella, which is a very um, lively um, Italian dance. I used a, um, a orangish background and various shades of orange uh, to kind of tie this together. You'll see complementary colors here, which tends to push uh, one uh, forward and one back. You'll find overlapping, which tends to do a similar sort of thing with the uh, space on the uh, painting. Um, here you'll see the orange coming forward against the blue. Here the orange tends to recede because it's a, um, a nearly the same color as that orange. This orange, these orange and yellows kind of hang together because they're about they're the same hue. So it's that kind of of uh, relationships between colors that um, uh, make a very flat surface a very active uh, painting. Well this is, uh, uh, like I said before, this is a really an exploration of color and um, probably for the, about the last uh, seven years I've been exploring this in a, a more analytic way uh, mm -hmm. with the intention of doing uh, something a little more organic uh, in the future. Mm -hmm. But um, by doing it this way and, and in this particular case having very hard edges on the forms, um, uh, intensifies the visual experience so you can uh, you, you get the idea a little better about how these colors actually work together how colors do move forward and backward in space uh, something that you can apply then throughout any other type of uh, painting uh, you know I may do later in life um, why not why not use any curved lines or anything like that 
Well, just, just like I said, you know, I, I wanted to really intensify the visual experience. So rather than have forms uh, showing different shapes or, um, like you said, a curve or in a straight line, those two things suggest even something different. Mm -hmm. And so I wanted to kind of minimize the uh, uh, I wanted to make sure that color was primary and that the geometric uh, sharp edge forms seemed to um, better describe what I wanted to do. Okay, okay this painting is called Seguadilla, and it is, uh, which is a, uh, a lively Spanish dance. Um, I use the, uh, like I said before, I use these little collages as a starting point for my paintings. Uh, this one in particular, I had to alter several times. The actual collage itself was, uh, uh, just didn't work in a larger um, uh, surface and it didn't work, uh, the composition wasn't quite right on a larger uh, size. So I ended up, um, if you look closely, you'll see uh, many layers of paint where I had to change colors um, from one to another as I um, uh, worked through the piece and wanted to make sure that the uh, uh, shapes move backward and forward uh, in space. So this particular painting was a, was a rather difficult one to resolve. This here was, I had two separate pieces here. Um, I, instead of a single long greenish yellow piece, uh, it just didn't work. So I ended up coloring the whole thing. This color changed uh, maybe four different times. Um, and this particular piece too, I had this one going all the way off the edge. Um, and that didn't work in certain respects. So this was probably the most difficult one to resolve. Well, how do you feel about this? Thing? But I think it works out well. I think, um, yeah, I'm happy with it. Yeah, I think that I, I see more horizontality, especially on the upper part of the uh, painting. You know, there there's both horizontal and vertical, but I think this particular yeah, yeah. painting has quite a, many more horizontal lines. You're right. Yeah, there's, on the upper part. Yeah, yeah in particular yeah. here. Yeah. yeah. So, how do you feel about your show, this particular show? Well, um, I feel that it. Um, Are you uh, satisfied? I'm satisfied with the. Uh, number of paintings that I was able to produce. Um, I had to, uh, I, I set myself a, um, uh, some limits. I said that I was going to have just squares. They were going to be paintings on squares and it was going to be geometric forms. Mm -hmm. And so I was pleased that I was able to carry that off. Uh, I did that because I wanted, you know, everyone to uh, 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 focus purely on the forms within the square, rather mm -hmm. than, uh, you know, a rectangle or anything else. I, um, I found myself uh, interested in finding out what happens next in the next painting. How could I uh, change the forms and the colors and uh, make the same kind of thing happening, that push-pull relationship. So it was uh, very um, compelling for me to go from one painting to the next. Um, I feel like I, uh, I I feel like I've depicted what this push-pull um, observation of Hans Hoffmann um, uh, does, and so yeah, I'm happy with that. Um, yeah. Thanks, Linda. Yeah.